Hi there, it's Zane Lenjapa, the Unlearning Lady. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this particular video. In case you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos that are coming up in the coming weeks. And today's video is all about your journey of becoming. I've had a lot of individuals that have engaged me on this topic. And in my mentorship work and coaching work, I found that this is something that's come up quite consistently. So I thought, let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation because this is something that you and I recognize quite consistently is really the depth and, and really the crux of what you and I are doing here. And today's video is all about your journey of becoming. It's growing into, growing with, and then also growing out of ourselves. Okay, so let's have the conversation. Now, most of us are pretty aware that change is a constant and that we can expect change every time we turn around the corner. But here's the trouble. Although we've come to expect that on paper, when it does happen to us, it's not so easy for us to start to fathom that we are changing or going through a process of becoming, as I call it, which sounds a lot better than having to let go of something you've become used to. Now, this particular process of becoming is really just how nature unfolds itself. If you look at everything around us, if you look at us as human beings, who we are right at our core is growth. We are growth. And, and, and the expression of anything that lives is its growth process. And the growth process really is made up of those three things that I hinted at right in the beginning, growing into something, someone, and then growing with something or someone, and then growing out of those, which is probably the part that most of us are not too keen on, but is a very big part of it. So we're going to talk a little bit about what each of those mean, and then how you can assist yourself as you transition through those stages. But it all really does start with understanding that that's a part of life. And I mean, we go through so many different things where we find ourselves completely awestruck by an experience that's caught us off guard. And the growth process really does start to stagger us and, and scare us almost because it's come so suddenly. But I want to encourage you in today's video about becoming and your journey of becoming, that we need to start from the idea that change is something that's consistently going to happen to us, but we need to embrace it. And there is a real beauty about changing with awareness. And changing with awareness is something we're going to speak about right at the end of this video, but it's all about applying a certain type of consciousness when you do change. So that your change journey unfolds in a way that you can monitor, in a way that you can track, and also in a way that you can appreciate. When you can sit back, think about those times in your journey through life where you've sat back and you've gone, wow, I understand that this and this happened to me. Here's what it meant. Here's what was affected in the rest of my life as a result of this one thing. So that's really why it's important to raise our awareness because then we can track the different things that happen to us and then we can extract meaning from the things that happen to us, right? Because really man's biggest search, as they say, is a search for meaning. You and I do the things we do consistently every day. We wake up, we go to work, we start families, we get married, we do what we do, whatever we choose to do, whatever we don't choose to do with our careers and our personal lives, all because we're trying to add meaning to our lives. And a lot of individuals that get to a state of really feeling quite upset about the way that their lives are going is because there's this misalignment with meaning. They don't see the meaning in their lives. And most of us have been in situations where we found that to be the case or we've concluded that that's the case with our own lives. So now let's get talking. What does it really mean to grow into, to grow with, and to grow out of yourself? Growing into. Now, growing into is one of the most exciting parts. 
I used to say when I had my big transition from working as a primary school teacher into the work that I do now, transitions, facilitating, working on change management with various organizations and really helping people to sense make the future. That big transition in my life really had me feeling what I called growth pains, which most of us will be familiar with as well. It's this feeling that you feel consistently within yourself that you really should be somewhere else, that you've outgrown something and you want to move on into a bigger kind of terrain or bigger space in your life. And really that's what growing into is all about. Growing into is about how you and I are consistently always in a place where we're becoming something different. You're not stagnant and you're not still. That's why you're alive. And so because of that, you and I are always moving on to the next. Whether this is career-wise, whether this is in your personal life, there's always something different to aspire to. And so as you experience everything that you're experiencing in your life, as you undergo all of the challenges that you undergo, you are transitioning into something that transcends where you previously were. That's somewhere different from where you previously were. So growing into is about moving from one place into another, becoming something different. And growing into is actually quite exciting because, I mean, I remember when I was young, my parents used to uh, buy me school uniform that was a few sizes bigger than me. <laughs> it doesn't help because I'm super tiny, but they would buy me uniform that was a few sizes bigger than me. And they would always say, she's going to grow into it. So rather than buying something that fits you perfectly, rather get something that's a little bit less snug, that gives a bit more room that you can grow into. And that's exactly what the process of growing into is about. It's about you and I being in spaces that are a little bit bigger than us. Think about when you start off at work and you don't quite understand your function or your role, but you eventually grow into it. And that's what growing into is about. And tell me in the comments section if you are growing into something in particular in your life where you're not too sure what the terrain is about. It doesn't quite fit who and where you are at the moment, but you're growing into it. There's a process that you're going through so that you can better acquaint yourself with what this new paradigm is, what it requires from you, and how you can work collaboratively with it. So let's move on now to growing with. Growing with. Growing with is quite exciting. And now before I move on with this one, let me just say that these three facets, if I can call them that, are not existing in isolation. They can coexist and they can be happening all at the same time in your life with regards to different parts of your life. And that's going to be the little homework assignment that I'm going to give you at the end of the video is really starting to assess where you are in different parts of your life with regards to each of these three. Now, with growing worth, it's all about partnership. It's all about collaborative efforts between you and the things that exist in your life. Let's take, for example, a relationship with a parent, a relationship with a friend, a relationship even with a colleague or a spouse. Those are individuals that you grow with because as you undergo your own change journey, that individual is also undergoing a change journey themselves. And you find that you have an advancement that happens in the relationship, but you advance together. And this advancement doesn't necessarily mean uh, going further in your goals, but it just means that there's a change that's happening in that person's life or in your life. And growing with is very interesting because what happens a lot of the time, like I just mentioned, is that we start to compare our journeys. And this is something that I love to warn people against and, and really start to encourage people not to do that because as we really started to look into in this video, the process of growth is so specific to each and every individual and their personal journey that to compare is really to do the other person an injustice and to do yourself an injustice. And we need to rob that person of their sense of autonomy because your growth journey is unique to you. And each and every person is 
feeling their way around life, if you can call it that, in their own specific way. And this is really important when it comes to growing with. So as we think about some of the functions that we have at work, growing with the function, because remember, even the role that you're encompassing at work is also growing, it's also changing, and it's also being impacted by various factors, such as the economy, how the company is doing, et cetera, et cetera. And because you are growing with it, there's a collaborative effort between you, your growth process, and the growth process of the function itself. Now, this one is really important to note because it helps us to understand that the things around us and those around us are really collaborating with us in our growth process, so much so that they're actually influencing how we grow. And this is very important to understand because then you start to, to bring on or move from a vantage point of, okay, so this and this is growing along with me and I can understand how the growth process that let's say my spouse is going through is impacting my own. And so growing with is very exciting because it helps us to raise our awareness around our environments and the people that are around us. One final thing about the growing with process is that although we've given examples of people, we've given examples of roles within the workplace or anywhere else in your life and you grow with that role and you always experience something new, let's say for example about motherhood, that you start off as a new mother and then you grow in with that role and you experiment the role and there's this consistent phasing out of that role as you go on. And it's, it's consistent, right, as many of us can say. But what I did want to add that's very important about that is that if you and I start to think also not just about that, but that some of the roles that we occupy are roles that we are going to have for a very long time. And so growing with is all about understanding that some of the things you have in your back pocket, in your personality, in your life, are things that you're going to really have to stick with. And, and in the sticking with these things, you're going to have to explore some of them, turn them over, really look at them so that they can help you to advance. And you grow with these things rather than growing in isolation from them. Now, let's move right along to growing out of. The final one is growing out of. Growing out of at first blush really does seem like one that's negative, but I really want to encourage you that it isn't. Because remember the first one that we started with was growing into, and you can only grow into as you grow out of something else. So always see growing out of one thing really as the opening up of another door or you growing into another that is something that transcends where you previously were. Because that's really the beauty of the growth process is that we're always expanding and exploring and growing who we are, growing our awareness, growing our understanding and just becoming better all the time. You're really not the person that you used to be because you're always growing. Now let's speak a little bit about growing out of. Now, this one reminds me of my dog. We used to have this really, really cute German shepherd um, who is now no longer with us, but he was just the most lovely, lovely dog that you've ever met. And every now and again, as most animals do, he would shed, um, shed his fur. But every now and again, when he used to shed his fur, it used to look really funny uh, because some of it was shed and then some of it would still be in the process of shedding. So it would uh, make him look really fluffy and really, really cute. Um, because he would have patches of fur here and there that was coming off and some wouldn't be. And, um, and we would have to obviously then help him out with that process uh, of, of shedding that off. But that process was obviously happening naturally uh, for him. And this is quite interesting for me because watching that process of shedding reminded me that you and I are also shedding consistently, like various other animals do, such as snakes and a few others, that shed consistently. Because where we used to be can only house us for so long. And think about your situation or your job or a relationship in some instances as a house that you live in or as a, a skin that you used to occupy. Just like human beings, 
who change their skin every now and again and shed our skin. I've got sunburned quite recently, so I'm starting to peel off all of those dead skin cells. And it's the same for you and I. Think about it as a skin that you wear that can only serve you for so long. And then after some time, when you have transcended that and you've moved on from that stage, you need to take that skin off. It needs to come off because you've outgrown it and now you are growing into a new a coat of skin, if you can think about it that way, or coat of fur in my dog's case. So growing out of is not necessarily something negative, but it's only about your perception and how you see it. Because if you're moving on to something greater than where you were, you have to obviously shed the skin that used to hold you back because you can't grow into a new skin unless you've grown out of the old skin. And this is what I often tell clients and individuals that I work with, because it's important for us to understand that the process of shedding and growing out of things is really how things work. People that change jobs are really great at testifying about this and saying, yes, I understand that I had to really start to cleanse myself in a way or grow out of some of the partnerships that I used to have in the old workspace, grow out of the workspace itself, grow out of some of the strategies, the principles, the tools that we used to make use of in the old job. And so growing out of is good because sometimes when you feel like you're growing out of something, it means you're ready to grow into something else. So now we understand a little bit more about what growing into, growing with, and growing out of is all about. So what do we do? What is it that you and I can start to practice today to make sure that now we have that understanding, we can start to really apply it and help make a difference in our day-to-day -day lives. So the very first one is understand where you are in your relationships or different parts of your life with regards to each of these three. Let's say, for example, I am looking at my relationship with my mother, for example, and I go, okay, with regards to my relationship with my mother, I have grown out of this idea that she's always going to be there. I've grown out of that idea, but I'm now growing into, let's say, for example, this idea or this thought pattern that my mother is more of a partner than someone I'm going to leech off of, if you can think about it like that. And so I, I look at that relationship or that part of my life and I go, what am I growing with? What am I growing into? And what am I growing out of in this part of my life? Because when you and I do that and we do it consistently, it really helps us to understand what the next phase of that relationship is. What is the next phase of my job or the next phase of my career or the next phase of this interaction or this part of my life. And when we do that, we raise our awareness and we take back our autonomy with regards to our growth and our journey of becoming. So having gone through this growth journey, understanding what it's all about and how you can take advantage of it, if you feel like that's you, I do have something that I'd love to offer you. Come and join me, come and interact with me one-on-one uh, -on -one and also in a small group setting at the Unlearning Mentorship Program. It's specifically tailor-made for individuals who feel that they are going through a process of becoming and they want to make sure that they do it with other individuals who are also shedding their fur, shedding their skin, and moving into a new paradigm, becoming different versions of themselves that they can own and claim. So definitely do join us. You'll see that the link to the mentorship program is below. Head over there, get yourself signed up uh, for the next upcoming group. And I would love to have you. Make sure you give me a shout out as soon as you're part of the mentorship group. Tell me that Zanella, I saw that video on YouTube and I'm here. I'm ready to get started on this journey. If you'd like to know a little bit more about the mentorship program, you'll see there's now a uh, title that's up on your screen that's nudging you towards another video have a look at that short clip that gives you a little bit more information on what the mentorship program is about and if it is for you which I think if you've watched this video and you've been nodding and agreeing and feeling a nudge then it definitely is Thank you so much for watching. Another reminder to please subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you don't miss any of the videos that are coming up. And I wish you a process of becoming that is 
fruitful, that's filled with joy, that's filled with such great success. All of the best. Bye for now.